Hey there, people of YouTube. Well, I'm gonna start trying to do a, um, a playthrough of Fallout 4. I have played this before, of course. I've beaten it. I only did one playthrough, really. And decided to do a new one. And this time, I guess I just record it. Yeah, I have all the DLCs right here Far Harbor, Workshop Wasteland, and Automatron. I like that one. Didn't like this one because it really didn't have a lot, but it was only like about six to seven dollars. So yeah, just start a new game. Really, I'm just gonna wait until I have mods and see where things go. And the videos are going to be about 15 minutes long each. And I'll probably do like one a day, two a day, give or take a few, depending how I really feel. I still have work. I have like um, I have two jobs, so. We're at Jimmy John's for the morning and for the rest of the time at night till like 11 or 12, Walmart. I know, it sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, I well, guess uh, since I'm waiting for the loading screen, I uh, just gotta say I no longer live with my mom. Nothing bad about it, just moving out and stuff. Just get out of my place, get out of the place and just move in with friends. I live with them and they're pretty cool. I share a room with them. And all that fun stuff. I'll just let you um, watch the intro. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, <laughs> wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. Then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The intro. <clears throat> Don't even know I would, uh, <laughs> what else to say really. Uh, I'm War always gonna play as a male protagonist. You knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Nah, no, nah, I won't. Absolutely. Now nah, get ready and Shut stop up. hogging the mirror. Right. That nose is horrifying, man. But yeah, basically, I'm just gonna. I'm playing male protagonist. You know? Such a cute nose. Yeah, I don't like how. Well, 
Well, I really don't like how it looks, you know what I mean? How it, it clean up starts at the beginning. Nice. I don't know if that's how the voice actor really looks, because sometimes the voice actor tends to look like, uh, like, you know, like the person they play as. So handsome. Just kidding, my eyes aren't that far. Yeah, not bad. I guess I get to the hairstyle I have right now. My hair is like that, pretty short, not that really big. Your eyes. They're one of my favorite things about you. Your boobs are my favorite thing about you. No, huh? Get it? Get it? Huh? No? Okay, well, shut the fuck up then. If I do say so myself. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I won't look good. I don't know. I don't like making my character too. I don't know. I just like the way it is. I have like, um, I don't have hair like that. Let's just start with that. My hair isn't like that. I got like a lot of hair under my chin. Like basically under my jaw. Like that, but that's a mustache. Except this looked like 12 times better than me. I guess I just put the, um, the hairstyle I was wanting for my face since I, uh, I just can't grow hair that much. Oh, mustache. Very cool. Thank you. Well, basically, this character I'm gonna... I need to get the body type first. I like, like looking big. Yeah, I look like this, except probably a little fatter. But ten times sexier. Well, basically, that's it. I'm gonna. Uh, the reason I call this uh, the game of Dracuan, it's a whole long story, which I'm gonna explain. Ah, little morning, by little. Sir. Your coffee, 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I got distracted. <laughs> well, plain and simple, the reason uh, my character's name is Dracuan is because there's this online game I'm not going to mention. Nothing bad. I'm not saying that they be bad. I'm just not going to mention it for, uh, eh. not to get, you know, flying or anything like that. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My, my favorite. favorite. <laughs> well, basically, yeah. I, uh, was into Star Wars. I still am into Star Wars and Darth Vader, Darth Maul. I, they, I know. It's Darth, oh, Darth, so with a, you know, TH in the things. end. But I was thought it was dark, but I misspelled dark when I was making my username. So I named it Dark Juan, but I, you know, of course, dark spells D A R C K. But it's actually is Darth. And the way you spell dark is D A R K, not D A R C K. And yeah, well, then I was playing another game, which I was not going to mention, but I misspelled that again. So D. A R C K. I spell it spell it D R A C K. And yeah, dark one it is. Someone's door already. Can you get that? It's. Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. I'm probably going to make this video a little short. Oh, just to too. start the second one. You have no idea. You know, just going to make the character. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take and, up much you know, of your time. And just move on a little bit. Time being a... Uh, just... mm -hmm. Precious the scab. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family. Right. 
Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, mm, you're already uh, cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna happen, I just right? need to verify some information. <laughs> wink, wink. That's all. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Oh, I'm not gonna name the name of the character as the channel, so I'm just gonna go with one. Point two, because you know. Shit. <laughs> it's because I have another character named Juan already. I'll just call it Lopez Loam. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna just focus on one, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna level all by one by one until it's all leveled out, you know? Fairly. As if I can get it all fair. Yeah, pretty fair. And except. Wonderful. That's it. Sure. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Well, I'm going to leave it here for right now. See you in the next episode.